Your home is, I mean, it's out of this world. Thank you, we love it here. That Franklin, Tennessee home is now at the center of Christina and Josh Hall's messy divorce. Last week, the HGTV star listed the six bed, six bath farmhouse, which she bought before they got married, for four and a half million dollars. The problem? Josh says he found out about the sale only through social media and has filed an emergency order with the court to stop it. Josh, this is where he feels very comfortable. E.T. obtained the court docs. Christina's ex was allowed to live at the home for 12 days last month. Josh now claims he would, quote, suffer prejudice because his living expenses would increase over having to move. Well, Christina's blasted her ex with wild claims, posting, remember when you said you would never steal from me or my kids and you would just be happy in a van with your dog? I guess plans changed. Love you. Oh, well, I love you. Also not feeling the love? Travis Kelsey's ex, Kayla Nicole, who's firing off on being targeted by diehard Swifties. I would be lying if I said that that level of hate and just like online chaos, does it impact me? It does, yeah. even to this day. You could go to my most recent post and it will be people debating each other why I am worthless and I'll never be a talented person and I have no career. I think that there's something about that level of fame, fame. that attracts crazy people. And yeah. it's unfortunate because I've never done anything to warrant that kind of backlash. On the Unapologetically Angel podcast, Kayla also shut down that rumor she split with Travis because he was cheap. Do I look like I would go 50-50 on bills? No. Okay. So yeah, that was ridiculous. If you guys would see each other, like, are you guys cool or no? I mean, I would probably like hit him with a head nod. I think that we're both aware of the nature of his new situation, mm -hmm. that there's just no room really for us to communicate or acknowledge each other publicly without it being spun into something crazy. Travis's lady Taylor knows all about that. Scooter Braun is speaking out about their war. Baby, now we got uh, five years later, I think everyone, it's time to move on. That's the music and, uh, exec yesterday addressing the feud. Back in 2019, Taylor slammed him for blindsiding her, selling her master recordings for more than 300 million. I think that it's important in any kind of conflict that people actually communicate directly with each other. I think doing it out on social media and in front of the whole world is, is not the place. As for one of Scooter's ex-clients, Ariana Grande, she's seemingly hitting back at haters, targeting her relationship with Ethan Slater. Cue her and Charlie XCX's new remix of Sympathy is a Night. Nice. You, you Ari has never addressed false rumors she broke up her man's marriage. When they started dating last year, both were separated from their spouses. Die, die.